Thank you for learning more with me about retargeting or remarketing ads on Facebook. Before you get started, here are a few helpful tips you'll want to know before you invest the time and energy to learn and do your own retargeting ads. Retargeting ads require you to have an existing website or some kind of landing page where you can place a tracking pixel to collect a cookie data so that Facebook knows that someone went to that website and then Facebook can link back to that person to show them an ad within custom audiences. I know there's a lot of excitement out there about retargeting and there's often a big difference between excitement about something and the actual results. So this retargeting feature is just another feature within Facebook ads. Personally, I haven't found it to be significantly different than advertising using other similar features in Facebook ads. For example, uploading a list of emails or trying to create my own custom audience or advertising the people who already like my page. So you will want to just look at this as another feature on Facebook rather than something that's definitely going to work, that's got all this excitement, that it's going to make all this money. It's another feature that has a lot of limitations that aren't often discussed. So here are a couple of the limitations. First, you have to have that website and then collect the data off of it. So if you want to start right now, forget it. You've got to already have that pixel on your website and you've got to already have data from it in order to even run it. If you make it without any data, you'll spend all the time on the ads and you won't have anyone actually show the ads to. So that takes a lot of time to get started with. As you can imagine, you often need a week, two weeks, a month, several months of data from Facebook that was generated on your website in order to even run retargeting ads. So if you haven't done that yet, you want to go make sure and set up your pixel as soon as possible so that you can at least collect the data. And then the big issue that I run into personally is the size of my audience. You have to have a person who actually uses Facebook and used your website in proximity to their Facebook account. Well, what does that mean? If I'm using an incognito window, it won't work. If I'm on another computer, it won't work. If I'm on my mobile device, it often will not work to remarket back to the desktop. Sometimes it will. Sometimes the mobile device won't produce the right tracking information. So what I find, even though I have 10,000 plus visits on my page every month, I find it difficult to even get a big enough audience of a few thousand people to advertise to because not everyone that goes to my website has a Facebook account. A lot of people go to my website on something like a mobile device where the tracking doesn't sync up correctly or they go when they're not signed into Facebook or they're on there for such a short period of time the pixel doesn't load or one of a bunch of different issues that come up with retargeting. So I'm lucky to have around a thousand plus people that I can advertise to out of 10,000 plus people viewing my website. So if you don't have 10,000 plus people viewing your website every month, remarketing is mostly useless because the amount of time and energy you put into it is just not likely to get you the results back out of it. So that's a limitation that encourages me usually to not even bother with remarketing. And then there's the fact that my audience with remarketing often will be more expensive than a non-remarketing audience. The CPMs, my particular audience, often will be crazy high. So even if my click-through rate's 100%, it still can be more expensive than just advertising to a more general audience. My audience, internet marketing related, tends to be insanely competitive because everyone else is targeting that audience also. So that means my remarketing campaigns will often be two to three times higher cost per click even if the ads are very relevant. And here's the thing, I can't even put remarketing pixels on all my Udemy courses, which is where I'd really like to get people to. And then I have a huge website, so the remarketing pixels have to be customized 
to exactly the page if I'm going to make ads that are really focused. So if you have a giant website and you shotgun approach your remarketing on every single page, which you're likely to do to start out, then if say you have men's and women's products, you have different types of products, showing one person the wrong kind of product often won't work. And then the question comes back, do I really even need people to go back to my website through Facebook ads? They're likely to just do it on their mobile device. They're likely to not make purchase. It sometimes feels like it's just better to wait for people to find me in organic search again. So retargeting has a lot of excitement and it has a lot of great uses if you have a huge website and a huge collection of products online like Udemy does. Udemy can do some really good work on remarketing ads. Even Udemy's remarketing ads though are very often a waste. Udemy remarkets me, my own courses all the time with their Facebook remarketing ads. So what does that mean? Udemy is sitting there paying a decent CPM price to show me an ad that's a complete waste. So that comes into play with what I'm doing also. When I show remarketing ads to my existing audience, and especially my audience is global, so about half are in the USA and then half are in the rest of the world, I have to sit there and target all those countries in my remarketing in order to really get my audience out there or I just have to open it up to a global audience and then there's no use trying to sell products to them because they're usually already aware of the products to start with or it's like me with my Udemy courses. I end up remarketing back to people who've already bought my courses and then if they click on it, I've paid to get them to re-engage with my course which I can already do for free with email marketing. So remarketing, what you don't hear about it are all of these frustrations behind it. I was surprised to hit all these frustrations myself because there's so much excitement, there's so much hype about it and when I started out with my own remarketing ads, I was shocked, wow. This is a real pain in the butt and unless you've got the perfect opportunity to use it, it often is a waste of time. So once you know this, getting started, then I hope this is helpful for you in going about learning your remarketing ads and planning out what you can do with your remarketing ads from the very beginning that can get you the best result. So thank you for watching this and I hope this is useful in explaining remarketing ads on Facebook and helping you to know exactly what experience I already have with doing my own remarketing ads on Facebook.